Hey guys and welcome back to episode 60 now of the Football Manager Southampton career and as you can see by the league table we sit 7th in the league now so we've actually dropped down, well it's gone up from the last episode but dropped down off screen from what I have played and I will show you why that has occurred. So if you haven't watched the last episode please go ahead and watch that as I reveal the off screen games from off screen. So we had Northampton first away at, uh, what's the stadium? The PTS Academy Stadium, where we won 3 1. Ross Barkley with an early penalty. And then they scored to level it up, James Clark. But then Goldson with two headers, our centre back, getting us the win in the Carabao Cup to go to the second round against Bournemouth, who is our first game today. And then the second game was against Bristol City. We absolutely dominated this 2 0. Oscar Bob and Cotrone getting a 90th minute penalty to wrap the game up. And then Burnley. Birmingham, who obviously came down from the Premier League, I think it was the season before, the last, and we beat them 3-1, Oscar Bob, Cotrone, Martinelli and Paddy McNair scoring. But then we slipped a little bit, Brentford, after having, what, three shots and we had about 12, uh, beat us 2-1, Odin Bailey scoring and Benjamin Garrett to get them the late winner after Goldson scored again. And as I said at the start of the episode, we have Bournemouth first in the Carabao Cup, Followed up by Preston, away at Deepdale and Barnsley. Also, I did play four games off screen because there's a poll in the last video. If you haven't seen it, please go ahead and vote. But the, the last video, by the time I'm recording this, hasn't gone live yet. So I don't even have the poll out for you guys to vote on. So I'll have a look at it after this episode to determine how many games we play off screen. And yes, we do have Bournemouth first away in the cup. But of course, we want to improve in his league. Because we've had two defeats already, should not be getting beaten in this league, I think. Oh, we're actually optimistic for an unbeaten season, of course, that's a big ask. And we are seventh outside of the playoffs at the moment. But hopefully that will change in the next game against Preston in the league. And I'm talking to Chambi again. He actually wants to permanently leave. I offered him a loan out and he's come back saying, I want out of the club for good. So I'm going to say, I know it can be difficult, but you've just got to give it time. I'm never going to fit. Why do you want to leave so much? I'm fed up with this. I'll decide what happens. He's a professional, but he keeps moaning, so he's just contradicted himself there. And going up to the cup, of course, in the cup competition, you've got a few changes. But with this being an actual derby in this competition, I am going to put most of the first team squad in it. I say most. There's a couple of uh, rotator players already in our first team squad because of the Callum Chambers injury. But here is the team. We've got Travis in the net with Yadon, Petrovic, Goldson and Gotts at the back. That's not very strong at all. With Robertson and Ward-Prowse in CDM. With Bob, Barkley and Jallo, the strongest apart from Davies, in the cam slash wing roll with Cotrone up front. So we've still put faith in a lot of big players to guarantee us a result into the third round because that is our expectations but you never know in a derby game and how could I forget as well it is us in the championship so we're not the favourites these have got a really decent team Cook, Shubalaski, David Brooks, Callum Wilson and Barbosa up front Gabriel Barbosa is amazing he beat us when he were at Man United in this save I'm going to say we owe them for the last match try and get revenge if you can and the uh, not three points the win in the cup First highlight coming in the 16th minute with David Brooks running into our box while Prowse with a dodgy tackle at the edge of it. Williams has the ball now and he's shot across net. And Alex Williams, the regen, has the first goal for the away side at the south coast. Oh, dear in me. This is not the start we wanted. Ward Prowse with a good tackle, but it just fell straight back to him. And Williams, I think he's the left back, went past the add on with ease and put it in the side netting. It's actually been the better team as well. Before that, with more shots than them, just need to try and convert them. I'm actually approaching half time with no other highlights, and maybe, just maybe, we might have to make some changes thinking of the league because the game isn't gone. I would have actually preferred it if it was a high margin and we could just rest players. Oh, we were winning, of course, and I uh, could rest players then, but. A 1-0 scoreline, we're kind of still in it, but kind of not at the same time. I'll put Joe Hodge on for Ward Prowse, because we need him for the league, and carry on from that. And now we're on the hour mark. Um, I'll give Patrick Roberts a bit of time to build his fitness up for Oscar Bob, who's been a revelation in the league, actually scoring two goals. And we've actually got a highlight with Roberts taking a corner into the box. Nathan Wood with the header away, only goes as far as Ross Barkley who I think is foul, but keeps the ball. Goldson into Robertson. Barkley with a good bit of passing. Hodge at the edge of the box. Hits it. It's off the post. And Igor can just pick it up. What a chance. Gabriel Barbosa. Oh, and then Petrovic wins his header. Something Soyunku's made a mistake with before. I can remember that. 
as Wilson gives it to Barbosa, plays a 1-2 around and Wilson's blazed it past the post. Last 10 minutes, we are very attacking at the moment. I'll try and make one more change, Alfonso Davis for Barkley and then I'll put these two, Trone and Jallo up front. Meppen with the ball to Lewis Cook in the midfield. Oliver Skip off the bench for the uh, away side. They've got really good youth players like Skip and Barbosa at the start of this save as Brooks, another one, has the ball coming inside and hits it at the X-bomb of keeper Travers. Gots with the throw into Catrone. Gots with the chance to whip it into the back post. Davis was waiting. Now it looks like they're going to get the counter-attack on in the last 10 minutes. Barbosa is stopped by Robertson, but not for long, as he's still got the ball. Chance to put it into Williams, but Travers catches. Come on, boys, just push. Look how many... We've had 19 shots against this team, and they're the ones getting all the highlights. Brooks with a ball into Wilson over the bar. And it looks like that's going to be the game. What an undeserved loss. You've got to be better than that, boys. I'm going to be uh, passionate because, oh, well, I shouldn't have probably been, but because I've been aggressive so many times, it just, I don't think it works on them. They just reveal it to the media and don't even learn from it. And that is a really sickening defeat. Oh, well, got to move on to the deep dale next against Preston. We need three points. They're in 15th and we are in 7th, but we've still got time to improve. Oh, and that's his best. I rested him in the last game thinking he would be fine for this one. But James Ward-Prowse has picked up a twisted knee. Four to five days. Just enough time to miss out the trip to deep tail. And we've gone in with a changed lineup, of course, because the last one was a cup game. And this is the team we've actually got Travis in now. I mean, Hansen in the goal. And Tony, I didn't even know, could play at right back. He had has been really solid. But Tony is a youth player who can obviously grow to four and a half stars. So I want to play him as much as possible with Sionku, Goldson and Gotts in the defence. Robertson and Hodge comes in for the injured Ward Prowse. Shouldn't be long with him, so he's got time to prove himself. With Bob, Barclay and Davies in the wing slash cam roll. And Catrone still up front. And Preston's team, nothing really shouts at me. I know uh, Luke O'Brien from his time at Huddersfield, I think it is. But no one really special. I expect to win today, boys. So obviously, without their main striker, Fraser, uh, Fraser Hornbit, who is on the bench, I saw he was favourites to get the top goal scorer ahead of Catrone. And we'll see who's the better in this game. Tony coming forward already from his right back role. Gives it to Hodge Robertson with it at the edge of the box to Davies. Needs to run around him. Come on, Gotts, make a move. As he's not even helping him. There we go. Gotts with the chance to whip the ball in. Gives it back to Robertson. Robertson hits. A pile driver there, but it doesn't go to anyone. Puts it over the top, floats it to Bob. Can Bob do something into the box? Falls to Hodge, and Catrone's tapped it in. It looked off a, off target from Hodge or into the keeper's hand, so Catrone guided it in. Jesus, this is a kick clash. Bob with a good touch round the defender. Crosses it in, Barkley doesn't win it. Hodge with a good header, and Catrone to just fire it in as the keeper was going to catch it. Corner as well, Bob with a chance for two. Oh, and Catrone's head is squeezed in. Six minutes on the clock and we're already 2-0 up at Deepdale. I did think the team looked nothing special. Maybe they're suffering from the kick clash? I don't know. But Bond, mate, you probably should be saving that. And we've even got a highlight from kickoff. Hopefully it ain't their goal and hopefully it's free for us already. Barkley gives it to Robertson. Can Robertson give a good pass to Goldson? Hodge now with a chance to give it to Bob. Bob's free. Put a ball into Catrone. He's on a hat-trick. He gets the ball and he scores his hat-trick. Embarrassing for Preston. Within 10 minutes, we are three goals to the good. We had a cup game in midweek as well. Yeah, probably they did as well. But still, you should not be losing by three goals in 10 minutes at home. It's embarrassing for the Rams. Oh, dear. Tony with a free kick. It can't be another, can it? No, they've actually... Stopped that as Robertson still has the ball. We could actually get a goal. Tony turns, gives it to Hodge. Hodge is a bit stuck, gives it to Barkley. They'll come short. Bob with the ball. Fouls going in everywhere. Play goes on. Hodge with the ball. Give it to Bob. He's a good crosser of the ball, is Oscar Bob. But he's got the ball through on goal now. He could actually score himself. That's a good save from Bond. Look at that. Catrone on a 9.4. Three goals, two assists from Bob. Excellent crosser of the ball. And now we're 25 minutes in without a goal in the second 10 minutes of the game. But there's still time for one in the third as we reach the half hour mark. Robertson gives it to Barkley, who gives it to Davies, who wiggles inside. And it's a weak shot. 40 minutes on the clock. They've had one shot on target at their place. That's not on. I would not stand for that if I were you, whoever the manager is. We've had 11. Excellent game. Passionately say 
I uh, I am very happy with how it's going. They've co become complacent. I mean, I don't think they'll score a lot of goals from now on, but you never know. We don't want to be complacent. And Valencia's actually coming forward. They could get themselves back in the game. Thornley with a cross to Diallo. Odebeku scores. It's Odubeko, actually, and they've picked the ball out of the net. Come on, boys. Complacency actually is a problem that we don't want to spiral out of control. He went for the Rabona cross, and Diallo just taps it, and he slid it in. Fraser Hornby just comes on the field. As I was taking my main striker off, Catrone gets his rest with Jallo on the field. Last 10 minutes, and apart from the first couple of minutes, we haven't really done that. We've had three shots since his first three goals, and nothing else has happened. I thought it was going to be a Stevenage kind of result when we were Sunderland, and it were about 9-0. As Odubeko comes through the middle, we give him space. The ball's bounced back to him. Oh, it could have been a nervy ending, but it's a good save. And we're going into the final minute right now, and we've got the 3-1 win. Convincing, good performance from the boys, but we just don't want to drop our guard. And we're back into them playoff places in the league. Up to fifth, uh, not so far as we've got a game in hand on the same points. Don't really want to be there. Want to be up in these two positions where Reading and Blackburn are first and second. Didn't expect that. Aston Villa in 12th. It's all going wrong. What an unpredictable league the championship is. As Jody Morris gives praise to Catrone. Beautiful hat-trick. And we've just had a takeover. A consortium led by Tim Fagan Winter has successfully took over Southampton. Damn it. According to Goal, there's speculation that I could have my job replaced by Daniel Farker. I, I th you've just come and you want me out. Personal message. What does he want to say? Thank you for the stressful time. No further investment will be made. And the new manager list is already going on. What? I will consider letting you keep your job and we'll inform you shortly. What? E? Oh, the regarding is... I, I don't get it. I absolutely don't get it. Why would you sack me? We're actually going into an international break, so most of those players will be away. I hope they don't come back to a dressing room without me in it. And some more offers have come in for Chambi. Young boys have made a large one of 4.3 million. Not the five I think we paid for him. I'm not sure. No, yeah, we paid 4.5 million for him. So he's going to take a little bit of a loss. We got one wonder strike out of him for about 300k. But yeah, he was never going to settle at the club. And hopefully the new chairman settle and keep me here with him. I'm really nervous about it. And Chambi is leaving right now. He's not spending any time to say goodbye to his fellow teammates. He is on the road. Oh. Follow the recent events of the boardroom level, you'll be allowed to stay on as manager. And the transfer embargo that was put on, I didn't even know that was put on, has been lifted. Thank the Lord. And here is our last game of the episode against Barnsley. We've got Hansen in the net with Tony, Sionku, Goldson and Gotts, who's got a bit of an injury, but should be okay. With Robertson and Hodge in the midfield, because Hodge actually had a blinder last game. So I'll keep him in for now with Bob, Barkley and Davies through the cam slash wing rolls and Catrone, the hat-trick man, the informed man, up front still. And Barnsley's team, uh, I know Tom Pierce, I think he was the, uh, what do you call it, the Leeds man uh, at one point. And Will Huffer, he was a Leeds goalkeeper. Decent team, it's like the Preston one. I don't know many names because they're all regens as well. We are favourites for a reason. Let's go out and win this game. I've got a highlight early on here. Tony throws it to Oscar Bob. He's got a beautiful cross on him. Just gives it to Bartley though. Hammers it and gets another try. And Ross Barkley shoots through bodies to get his second goal of the season. Superb goal from Ross Barkley. It was at the second time of asking. It was just a foot that blocked the first one. And then the second one was first time hit. And beautifully done. 25 minutes almost. And they've still had no shots on target. Ross Barkley on an eight. No one else really doing that special. Davis is a bit tired for us as well, as well as uh, Thomas for the away side. Bob having a blinder as well as he gives it to Robertson, just drops it to him. Hodge gives him it back, a couple of one-twos between them two. As the ball spread it out wide to Davies, can put a cross into the box. Kayan Bailly makes a tackle, Gots with the second one and Catrone with his seventh goal. Good header from him. Davis with the first cross, I think he took an awful touch which let the defender come and slide. Gots, though, on the rebound with the first-time cross, which is spectacular, and Catrone with the downwards header. And they've actually got a corner at the end of the first half. Walsh whips it in. It goes back out to him for another chance to put it in the box. And that's easily blocks the wasting chances. Barnsley, as Bob just drills 
Foe, we could actually get a goal here. Bob's going all the way. He's going all the way. He's hit Huffer with an unconvincing stop. And that unconvincing save was the last action of the first half. I've had one shot off target and we've had 17. Barnsley are in trouble here today. We've had two really good league games. Can't say the same for the Carabao Cup one. Just got to keep it the same in the second half. And we're going into the hour mark with no highlights. They've had one shot on target, which I don't like to see. I'll give... I'll give Goldson, no, I'll give Soyunku a rest because he's the better centre-back. Uh, Davis could do with a rest as well for Jallo, and I'll leave it like that. Bob's took a knock as well, down to 65 fitness. Patrick Roberts, make your return. And he's on the ball straight away. Roberts puts it out wide to Tony. Tony with a chance to cross, gives it back to Roberts. To Hodge, who hits it, and Hoffer saves. Corner ball from Patrick Roberts. Can something happen? Catrone waiting at the edge of the box. Uh, Petrovic loses it. They've run out of substitutions and got a player injured now in Daniel Furlong. As we go into the last five minutes with 2-0 to the good. I'll take this referee, just blow your whistle. A lot of had a time. But it shouldn't make a difference as the game is over. 27 shots. We are breaking down boundaries with the amount of shots we're having. Passionately say a nice victory. Well done. And the team's all happy. And at the end of that, we'll just have a look at the league to finish it off with. We are in fourth position. Three points off top spot in Notts Forest. We've only lost one game. We've only lost one more than them. And we've paid the price. We've got Crystal Palace first off screen, who are in third. Uh, Watford have dropped out. Blackburn have got a game in hand over us, because so could Leapfroggers. But yeah, a successful episode I'll call it that, although we did lose in the Carabao Cup. But unfortunately, guys, this is the end of episode 60 of the Football Manager Southampton series. Like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager and FIFA content every single day of the week. And I will see you all in the next one. In a bit, peace.